to my next topic of choice. I know I'm flying through these, but this one I'm going to actually talk a little bit, um, a little bit more in depth, and it's about the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Not and this image that you're seeing for those of you watching the review is just a concept image, not the real phone. Um, and about rumors in general. And actually, I'm going to bring up that image as well, too. Getting a little tired of all these rumors. I really am. I understand. I understand why they happen. I really do. It's because, like, the thing is, but they just happen so quickly. It's like, just look at the iPhone, for example. As soon as the iPhone 6 came out and the 6 Plus came out, not even a week after, people already talked about the iPhone 7 what the iPhone 7 is going to have. So you're doing this a year in advance. That's a little asinine. Um, even with the Samsung Galaxy S6, not a week after it came out, there were already news articles from these major tech companies, major review firms, major YouTubers, all the all these, et cetera, et cetera, talking about how, what the S7 is going to hold. It's a year, this is a year in a hand. You don't know what's going to hold. They're just pulling things out of their asses. I can easily I can easily speculate what the next phone's gonna have after I get the initial one. It's easy to do that because all you really gotta say, and this is the general gist of all these rumor articles talking about the next gen phones. It's always literally here's the formula. Take the current phone that you that just came out, increase all the specs by a smidge. There's not there's not an exact number, but a smidge or a lot. And then change some design aspects of it. And that's what the rumors are typically in. And the thing is, that's what most of the phones end up being. They, be, they end up being incremental improvements, incremental upgrades, nothing more than that. So it's, I'm a little like, and the thing is, I like this is becoming a little bit of a rant, maybe hypocritical of me, but I don't typically like to talk about rumors. And a lot of people actually come to me and ask me about what do they, what, what, like, they, they'll hear about the Gear A. Um, the new Apple Watch 2, um, the new the, the LG G5, their, their new flagship. Like, and the thing is, like, and they'll come to me and ask what I think about it. And the thing is, I actually advocately avoid these rumor articles because at the end of the day, that's just, they're just rumors. Like the fact that people are still talking, and like, they were talking this about like months ago, as soon as the S6 came out, you instantly saw... Like you instantly saw people writing articles. They're like, oh, it's rumored. And I've heard from credible sources, quote unquote, credible sources that, oh, since the S6 didn't have a removable back, the Note 5 won't have a removable back. They won't have an expendable SD card slot. And look, there's no, gonna be no S Pen. You didn't hear that directly from Samsung. You didn't. There's nothing saying, oh, like credible sources from Samsung, no. Samsung officially has said that they are not going to have X, Y, and Z on their new phone. Until I hear that article or watch that video, I won't believe any of this, and neither should you. I, I, I know only a handful of people will actually watch to this part of the video or listen to this part of the podcast, but you guys really need to just, oh yeah, as Andre Morrison just said, just chill and wait for the facts. If you lived your life around rumors all the time, it's just an, it's a headache and it's a waste of time. It's like lingering on, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know a good a good metaphor, but you're sitting there wasting hours of your time reading these articles, searching online, googling back and forth on rumors. You should you just hear it from the cat's mouth. And a lot of people, a lot of people are saying, uh, a lot of people are saying that. So don't waste your time on these rumor mills, guys. Like, I can't stress that enough. And I, and this is the reason I want to talk about this. Like, I understand that there's a heated battle going on between Apple, Samsung, LG, HTC, uh, Huawei, and all these other companies, and they need to stay on top of the game. And so a lot of the rumors may be stemming from them. But you guys need to realize, and like it might be, it may it may be hypocritical hypocritical of me to say this, but a lot of the videos and a lot of the articles that you guys are seeing from these major sites, they're all just to get you to get to their site, so they can get ad revenue or they can make money. This isn't this isn't news anymore. And I talked about this before, where most of these most of these sites are not. It, it, they they've become like major media corporations now, where they don't 
where they don't report the news anymore. They don't. They don't report the facts anymore. They just report what people want to hear and what will get them views and ratings. And that's what, unfortunately, new media, so YouTube and all these blog sites and everything, that's what they've become. The thing is, I used to read a lot of these, I used to depend on a lot of these companies for articles and keeping up to date. But unfortunately, a lot of them have sold themselves out. I mean, a lot of them have been bought by bought by Apple, and not to blame them or call them bad people, but uh, it's 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 just like what's the case? Sorry, let me just read a comment. What they just said here, um, and Sheldon, listen, guys, rumors are just news to keep us entertained till the products come out, and that's true. And you know what? There's nothing against that. If you guys just you guys want to continue speculating and just kind of be interested on the product, then you know, by all means, go. I'm not saying don't go read them. I mean, but don't believe everything you read. That's, that's my thing. I think that's the main thing that pisses me off. It's, it's nice when we talk about it because I talk about the Note 5 all the time. Because I'm just like, oh man, it's like ever since the Gear VR came out, I'm like, all right, I couldn't wait to see what the S6 would have done for performance and stuff. And when I saw the improvements, when I saw the improvements on the S6, and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what they do with the Note 5 then. Because obviously it naturally springboards off of, every phone just springboards off of the previous one. So I'm just like, the Note 5 is gonna be beastly in my mind. I already know that, just based off what I saw on the S6. So I personally can't wait for it. But my thing is when people start creating these videos and articles saying that this is fact. Like, when I read the articles, uh, Samsung has removed the, the S Pen from the Galaxy Note 5. This is the end of Samsung. And you read the article, it's just like, oh, it's just rumors and based off of what we saw on the S6. It's nothing, it's not fact. Look. You just wasted my time. You just made me think that Samsung announced something. And it's just, and people are freaking out. People freak out on my comment boards. Like, I, I'll, I'll come on and people will message me. It's like, oh, I'm jumping ship now. Or Samsung has done away. I'm like, whoa, hold on. Calm down, guys. Wait until you actually hear it. Like, come September, even I said it too. If Samsung actually truly has removed a lot of the functionality and a lot of the hardware designs that made us fall in love with the Note, then I'm leaving too, flat out. I, like I, I am not loyal to Samsung. I am not loyal to any one company. I am loyal to I, I, all. I am loyal to is innovation and new tech. If the tech isn't cool, if the, if the tech isn't pushing anything, I will not purchase it. Or like I'll review it, and but I'll I'll, I'll return it. I I won't keep technology that I don't feel like is pushing the envelope you know I mean that's it's what it is like you gotta you gotta innovate and so I said and you guys just heard me say it again I will not get the note 5 if they eliminate I have a list I have a bucket list of what I want from it that but that won't make or break my deal but what will make or break my relationship with Samsung is if they eliminate a lot of the stuff they eliminated with the s6 I don't for me preferably I don't mind if they if they don't bring back the removable back but if they truly got rid of that pen, if they truly did, that is that is pretty much what set. I mean, also like other one-handed functionality and other other additional features that the Note series have had. But that pen is pretty much what differentiated that phone between the others. Now, there's a, there's gonna be a lot of things. There's gonna be a, a lot of other factors playing into it, like design, button layout, interface, screen. It, everything's gonna play into it. But if they eliminate a lot of the big functions, they just lost me as a customer because you you do not you do not you do not give your customers something that has brought them over to your company and then you take it away. Why would you do that? I gotta admit though, for me, the removal back wasn't a make or break deal for me. Uh, my only complaint with them was they they followed the the Apple design and I feel like that was going backwards, but that's besides the point. Let's get back to the main topic of these rumors. That's just like, let's, let's, just, let's just settle this here. It's just, do not believe. If you wanna read and if you wanna just kind of, you do not verify, once again, when you read these articles, you are not verifying anything. Nothing's solid. Nothing's 100%. You're just reading on what other people are speculating. All right? Um, as Sheldon just said in the comment board, it's for entertainment. All right? Until the, until the actual announcement comes out, if you want to kind of speculate what it is, that's fine. But don't believe everything that you're reading. Do not. Just don't, because you know you may you you may end up being disappointed. You may end up being satisfied. Whatever, just don't believe everything you read out there. It's not not to say that I'm getting tired of all these comments. Just when I see that, it's just like it's like when people are saying like 
like Samsung has gone crazy, they've gone loco. I'm just like, give them a give them a minute, give give them a chance. They they, they may have something else up their sleeve, okay? And I, I just got a comment today saying that I was paid off by Samsung. No, 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 no. Trust me, I'm I'm only six thousand subscribers. I'm not big enough to be sponsored by anyone. Um, and I'll be working on a. I'll be and my dear my dear company videos are going to be coming out soon. I'm gonna I got my whole setup going so I can go ahead and record you guys some high quality you know high quality videos soon. Um, but yeah, so. That's enough of that. I just I just had to get that off my chest because I just read so many comments today because there's more articles that came out about the Note 5 and it's just here, quickly before you guys ask me, this is what I expect from the Note 5. 4K resolution screen. I only deemed that necessary because of the, the Gear VR because it, that would virtually almost eliminate the, uh, the, the, the screen door effect. Um, I don't necessarily need more, need more RAM or processing power. I just want more efficient more efficient power so give me more less but give me more power but more efficiency if anything i want more efficiency out of it because the devices still get hot the s6 apparently still overheats after a very long use and if you're doing multiple functions um once again these phones are trying to run pc graded apps and software on a phone device so they need to naturally keep progressing so for me those are the main things that i want to see do I want a curved design? Uh, I, I, I personally kind of do because um, I reviewed my girlfriend's S6 Edge for uh, for about two weeks and I actually fell in love with the design. And when I when I got back to my note, I was glad I got the screen sides back, but at the same time, I was like, I kind of want those edges. So we'll see. And, and the fact that Apple has rumored flexible screens, oh no. Um, <laughs> that, 